Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Acer Extensor 15 model. And recently I found many complaints that when they try to reinstall Windows, they don't see the internal SSD while they try to select it to install the Windows into the drive. Okay, so this is not a problem. It's a setting, enable and disable. So today we need to sort this out by visiting the BIOS system. Then we're gonna enable and disable some program and that should be resolved. By the way, does not matter if this is Acer or any different brand, what happens, especially for the 10th generation and 11th generation Intel processor, they do have a controller, I would say SSD or drive controller, which is called a VMD. These settings, if that is enabled, you're not gonna see while you try to reinstall new system you're not going to see the internal drive. And when you disable the VMD, you're going to see the internal drive and you can format it, you can reinstall, you can do whatever you want. By default, by default for ASA, that is not enabled. Even you can see on the list. So we need to make it enabled. By the way, let's get into it and sort this out. So now we're going to see what is the real problem. So we're going to keep the BIOS settings default. We're going to change anything except the USB boot options. I mean, boot priority. So first things, we're going to switch this off. Connect our bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. Must be in UEFI environment. Press the power button. Keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. Keep everything default. Go to USB boot priority option. Choose your USB stick is the first priority. By the way, this is my password. And then we're going to save these changes as USB is the fast boot priority and then system would restart and it's going to load up the Windows setup page. Once we get in there, we're going to accept the terms and condition and when you would like to choose where to install the Windows, you don't be able to see. So that's the real problem. Now, let me show you how to solve it. By the way, at that point might be your trackpad wouldn't work. Don't be surprised. Use any external mouse and it should be fine. So here is the real problem as you can see. So let's sort this out. We're gonna keep pressing F2. Once we press F2, it's gonna come out straight away because we did not set up any password or anything. Now, these things happen for one reason, which is called VMD enabled. So if you do have any brand, does not matter. And if the processor is from Intel, 10, 11, 12 gen, this is the common problem because by default, they left the VMD settings enabled. We could say VMD is a kind of, let's say, memory controller or storage controller, okay? When it's enabled, you don't be able to uh, do the USB boot. You don't be able to see it. However, to make it disable, what do you need to do? We need to go to advanced option or main. On the main section, we don't see anything, right? But if you do control S, look into the screen what happened. You see, once I pressed control S, these two button, straight away, some of the function added. So now if I go through here, I can see there is an option called VMD and which is enabled, okay? And this is, you can see the details. VMD stands for Intel Volume Manage Device Bootcamp, okay? That's why we don't able to see the internal drive. So let's make it disable. Hit enter, and then just disable it, fine. This thing sorted. Now let's go to advanced. Leave this one as it is. You don't need to change anything. Now let's go to security. Just for the video purpose, let's say if you want to go down, what you have to do, you have to create a password. For example, hit enter again and put a password. It could be anything. For example, one, enter, one, enter, enter again to save. Okay. Now you see, you can go and change. So if you are struggling with this section, you can go there and you can change if there is any option available, you see. You can go through everywhere. If you want, you can clear the TPM. You can set up the password again, okay? So this is just the video purpose. I don't need any password. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear it off again. Now let me show you how to clear. Hit enter again. Put the old password, which is one. Hit enter. Save. Okay. Now it's cleared. So we change a couple of things. Let me show you what I done. 
one second we turn on the bmd made it disable first thing we left the advanced as it is we went to the security if you want to go through here you can add it go and we went to the boot settings and we change usb as a first boot option how to do that is pretty simple let's say you want to change number two into one just press f6 you see it goes up again if you need usb as a first boot priority press f6 again it comes up then press f10 to save and the game is over now system would restart it will load up and this time we would be successfully able to see the internal ssd where to install the windows All right, so we're going to go to next. Don't forget to connect his external mouse. Hit next, install now. Accept, next. Custom Windows installation, and you see, you are able to see the internal drive. Now, I don't have any important data, so I'm going to delete all of them to freshly install the Windows. Okay, so let's go here, delete it. Okay, go here, delete it. Okay, you're going to lose all the data that you have in here. Delete. All deleted. Hit next. And now the installer would install every single bits and pieces into the drive. Copying Windows files. Getting files ready for installation. Installing features. Installing updates. Getting finished or finalized. So let's see until the end if that is successfully put or not.